And you're very welcome back. It's the Emirates Arena in Glasgow. Five courts set up here for this Scottish Open. We're back with mixed doubles. It's France against England. Roland Labar handing the shuttle now to the service judge alongside Emily LaFell in green. And for England, Alex Langley and Ben Stowski, the English duo. No longer, of course, in Milton Keynes. We're here together as a partnership <laughs> to try and make an assault on this Scottish Open. Very difficult one to call. LaFell just practicing her serve. Of course, we saw Emily earlier in the women's doubles alongside Audrey Fontaine. So this is Emily's second match on this TV court. And the English. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Alexander Langley and Ben Stowski. Stowski and Langley, on my, on my left, no row, pedigree, Lefell, just Lefell, come together, Lefell. of course, for this tournament. Alexander Langley to serve to Emily Mille, And Lefell. as always, Love all, play. we're on Twitter with hashtag SOGP. And it's Alex Langley who gets proceedings on the way. Dan, this is your last match alongside me, I think, today. Heading off to do some work and some coaching. Yes, off to coach in Perth after. Mm -hmm. But that, that was a super rally from Langley there. I was very impressed with that. She was hunting the shuttle all the time, pushing down feet very quick and very active. And uh, I hope she continues like that. Yeah, Alex had a tough time, of course, when Jenny Warwick left the English national team. Alex was playing alongside Jenny for about a year and that whole upheaval really upset her a lot and uh, didn't feel didn't feel she got her just rewards from the English setup and decided to leave as a lot of them have done to be fair in England over the recent past. All is not too well there I suspect but uh, and the same with Ben fresh out of Milton Keynes but come together here for this match at the Scottish Open, so uh, two good players, to be fair. So I would expect the English to win this game. Service over, two all. Emily, to me, just a little bit suspect in or around the net. We saw it earlier in the women's doubles, the French girl. A poor serve from Stowski. Service over, three, two. Stowski has this very, very laid back approach to Babington and he almost looks disinterested very much like Vile uh, you know looks Service disinterested but very much focused Service over. Three all. well I hope he's got as much talent as Vile has <laughs> service error called six quick points in the first minute of the game Yeah, and I'm afraid she's right, it was his, but he was too worried about the lift going up over her head that he moved, he completely moved behind her there instead of coming up beside her. Service over, four all. And let's see if we can get a better serve this time. It Five, must be four. quick, very quick going that way. That's where all the errors are coming from the players whenever they hit flat on the net. I always fancied Ben Stowski. He's a pretty decent player. If Six only seven, he'd lift his racket ball. off the floor. He tends mm. to drag his racket along the ground and take everything from down off the floor. Mm. Well, I had a conversation with some coaches this morning before play started on uh, <laughs> men's doubles players. Uh, that was wild from Ben there. Men's doubles players, top players in the world today, and how they all hit at the front of the court and their racket comes down at their feet all the time. I don't understand why they can't keep it in front of their face and just use the pace that the players hitting at them or in defence are giving them. And it must be easier to keep your racket up than to hit and then have it down at your feet and bring it up again. But uh, they were saying the modern player, uh, as I'm an old man now, the modern player's so agile and uh, they're alert that they can do it quickly enough. And they may well be right, but I just think they're surely quicker if it's up in front of your face and you're 
you can see the racket head and you know exactly what you're doing. Yeah, for sure. I would agree with you on that one. That was unlucky. Yeah. Very good rally there. That was very unlucky from Alex Langley. Good smash from Langley. Yeah, good defense from Emily. Nine, the five. attack around the head, cross court from Ben. Right into the body of the female on the opposite side of the net. Pretty good start for the French. Oh. Service over. Six, nine. Of course, Ronan Labar, Mr. Experienced in the French national team these days. I think Labar's body language convinced everybody that was in. <laughs> he just picked it up and got on with it and made the decision for the umpire. 11-6, interval. <laughs> There's an interval lead for the French. 11-6. Of course, the English pair on their own. be interesting to see how they cope without the influence of a coach. Quite easy when you're ahead, but when you're trailing and things have to be changed or tactics need to be discussed, sometimes a different story. I think it's also different that, that there is doubles here, Mark, and there is someone to chat to. So it's, you know, it's a little bit easier, or a lot easier, unless you're someone like Villy and you can talk to yourself. But uh, when you're out there in a partnership, there is someone you can chat to about what's going on in front of you. And that's where the answers are. So you've got to be able to analyse what's going wrong for you if you're down, or what you're doing well, and can you, can you improve upon it? So Labar and Lafell on screen, ready to go. That was interesting. I, I would like to see that if it was possible. Yeah, certainly Ben Stowski felt yeah. that was in. I think it might have been the right call, but uh, we are sitting a good bit away from it. So, But there's no point getting upset about it because you're going to get those calls in the when you turn round, so you've just got to try and control yourself. Ben Stowski, of course, who had a long-term mixed doubles partnership with Lauren Smith. Lauren now, sort of one of the more elite players in the English setup. I think in Hong Kong this week, playing with Andy Ellison mixed doubles. Server, 7-13. Yeah, that was definitely out. Server, See, now, now the English players are looking at every call this, this chap makes, but y you've just got to go on with it. If it's, if it's going to be called out and it's in, the umpire will overrule it if it's blatant. But it's clearly not blatant, or he would be overruling it. So just go on with it. Yeah. That was definitely out anyway. Yeah. So I think the umpire or the line judges made the right calls. Alex Langley really forced to work hard in defence on that occasion. Did well, but in the end, yep. a relentless attack from the French at bearing fruit. Whoa, healthy lead, Dan, 15-9. I can't believe it, but I also can't believe the amount of cross-court shots that Ben Stowski is hitting at the moment.
There was nothing really he could do about that. It was a good shot from yeah. the French girl. But it's clear to me what's happened here. Stowski has been affected uh, psychologically, mentally, whatever way you want to call it, by those line calls. Hasn't recovered or focused. Oh, no, no. And they are now we're trying too hard, trying to hit too steep or too hard, mm -hmm. making mistakes. Just get the shuttle in and make them earn it. He's, pl he's playing cross court from his backhand across there to the girl's forehand side, and she just taps it down. I think what we're also seeing here is we're seeing the French who are full time players against the part time yeah. uh, English. And he did it again there with return mm. of serve. Played a cross onto the boy, and they're, they're lucky to win that point. Like he's got to start 10, thinking about what he's doing. And mixed doubles, the, the men have to be playing the biggest majority of the strokes straight because they are the stronger individual. Th this French boy is doing 18. it as well. He's trying to play cross court. If Alex Langley reads it, he's playing onto her forehand. She's going to hit it down his backhand. I, I don't understand it at all or hit his partner. 12, As I say, the game gets more complicated with the, the more ability your opponents have. If they've got a world-class defence, even the women at the top level in mixed have it. So it becomes more difficult then, and, and then it is a real game of chess. But at this level, it's simpler, because the women's defences are not able to cope with the, the power of the male smash. That's a poor mistake as well, under no real pressure there, that should just be over the net and make Ben Stowski lift it. Ah. Easy in the end for Roland Lavar. I don't think Alex Langley really had any right to go for that shuttle. Game point for the French. Ten minutes gone. I think now Ben's played that return. If she gets to that and pushes it just straight, he's he's going to lose the point. I, I don't know what he's. I think he needs to use his brain more. He's a quality player. I have seen him in the past, and he's a good player. But he's not thinking what he's doing out there at the moment. Fifteen twenty. Yeah, and that's it in the end. It's a French ticket, 21-15. First game won by Ronan LeBurn and Neil LaBelle, 21-15. And really, midway through that first game, we had two line calls. Ben Stowski certainly felt they went against him. Maybe you might see them again in replay. But uh, certainly broke his concentration, those two calls. Wasn't happy about it. And the French went on a five or six point run and serve. That was a difference in the end. It's Alex Langley. Doing all the talking now, courtside for English. Shoulders are hanging a bit from Stowski. Looks a little bit disinterested, I think. Yeah, and he needs, he needs to get himself up for this and start using his brain. He, he needs to be playing more straight stuff and then find the girl with the smashes. He's a tall lad as well. He can bring it down steep. He's got lots of shots, lots of variation, but we're just not seeing it from him here. And he needs to remember the girl's left handed that he's playing against. <laughs> True. I've often come off the court wondering how I've lost and then realised, oh man, he's left handed. <laughs> that had probably something to do with your preparation beforehand, Mark, and what public house you were in. Okay. You know what? <laughs> I must be the only Irishman that doesn't drink. <laughs>
but it's not very good arriving for a match at 5 to 9 in the evening or 1 minute to 9 and it's a start at 9 yeah. Second game on their way, and nice backhand this time, cross court and Stowski. There you are, that's what mixed is about for me. He Seven got one over, chance one there, two. and he thrashed it at her, and of course, didn't come back. But I think Alex Langley isn't playing too bad at the minute. I think Ben just needs to get his mixed doubles head on. And uh, they could sort it out. But Service whether they will fault. or not. Yeah. Over. French Service girl faulted again. Mm -hmm. At least he knows now the one in green's the lady <laughs> as he thumped that smash at her there. That's much better from him. And if he continues to do that, then uh, they might turn it round. Good serve from Langley. Equally good return from Ronan Labar. That was out the side. Flying smash from the Frenchman. Ah, oh, yes. Super, right across her. But what he's got to do, or the gent has to do, he's, he's 100% smashed twice at Alex Langley and she's got it back. He has to think about where is he hitting her. Is he hitting at her strength? Uh, and if he is, then he has to change the angle that he's hitting the shuttle to her at. Or he goes up and he hits a cut smash, or he plays a stop drop. Something that gets her off balance. That's very good from the French girl. Four off. Mixed if you're a lady, it should be simple as well. If you're taking the shuttle above tape height, your team should be winning. If someone else is playing it below tape height, then they shouldn't be beating you. <gasps> lazy, lazy yeah. shot. One smash, he hits it at the man, it comes back, and then he plays that lazy mm. backhand and loses the point. They've gone from 4 1 up, 5 4 down. Six, four. Again, a very lazy return of serve from Stowski. Five points in a row in the serve of Ronan Labar. I think called out the side, I think. Yeah. Well, I think Langley told the umpire it was out. <laughs> <laughs> and he was quite happy to agree. Ben again in control, he hits a straight Service smash, it comes by, he hits cross court at the man. The, the girls in front of you think about where you're hitting her. You know, coaches, when they look at players, they like to see Seven, five. that there is some emotion in them, that, that they're excitable, they can get up for games. When you look at Ben here, I can understand why he's lost his place in the England setup because he doesn't look as if that it matters to him. You've got to get up and it's maybe the wrong thing sometimes for a coach to, you know, tag a player like that. But 
you need to have a bit of life about you when you're out there. You're in a war. This is a battle you're in, and you need to be ready for it. And it doesn't look to me as if Ben's ready for a battle. He's a very talented lad, but he just needs to engage his brain and think about what he's doing and use the talent that he has. But get up for it. He just straight leg there as he's standing. It's yeah, 100% agree. That's better. Focusing the attack on the woman. Eight, yep. seven. Well, but he just has this disinterested air about him, and that's something that yeah, sends out the wrong signals. He's looking to his about partner. at courts yeah, yeah, yeah. everywhere here. It's you need to get focus. You've lost the first set. You're in with a shout in the second set. Get up for it. Again, good play by LaFell. And he is apologising to his partner there for that shot, but he's capable of so much more, I think. See, the French, the French look up for it. Their body language is different. Uh, they look keyed up. And the girl, who I wasn't impressed with in the doubles, is impressing me at the front of the court here because she's hitting and hunting the shuttle all the time. Yeah, certainly a better mixed doubles player, for sure, Emily LaFell. But also, she's been given the opportunity to look pretty good, you know. Mm -hmm. Ten eight. It's less than inspiring from the English pair. No, I think there's only one winning team here at the moment. Yeah, that rally certainly displayed the actions of two players who are not used to playing together. No, no, the movement off the shuttle was not good at yeah. all. So remember, if you're watching and you're tweeting, remember the hashtag SOGP, the Scottish Open Grand Prix. And it's Stowski and Langley trailing. It's the French who look certainly the more up for this, as Dan was saying. Good block from Langley oh oh a little bit of confusion on the French side of the net yeah but the good thing was both of them were hunting it if that had been the English pair they'd have been leaving it for each other whereas the two the two French were up for us Called. Service over. Ten, yeah, it's not the first time this game she's nope. been called, and I've seen her called many times. I think it's the fourth the circuit. or fifth. Yeah. It's something she struggled with a lot of her career. I don't think this game's away from the English yet. I, I think if Ben just clicks into gear, then uh, I think he's got a chance. But I don't know if it's maybe because he's out the system, but his strokes don't look as good as they used to be. Um, he, he doesn't look as interested, but he's always had a kind of lackadaisical look about him. But yeah, but he's 
He's, yeah, he's always been like that, but there's, there's mm. a sharpness missing yeah, from yep, regular definitely, training and definitely. coaching. Yeah. Yep. And now the head's down. And as you said earlier, Mark, I don't think his racket could get any further down than it is. See, I can't understand it. it. I don't know if he's working or not, or, or what he's doing with his life, but he's come up here, it's cost him a lot of money, and he doesn't look switched on. Service over, 11, 16. She looks as if she's up for it, she's, she's trying to do her best, but I think he's capable of more. But that's, that has been the story of his badminton life. You know, we've been saying it for many years, he's capable of so much more. Oh, ah. I mean, that, that was a lovely shot. Absolutely 12, superb 16. shot. And his control of the shuttle in that rally was was wonderful as well. But that's one in, what, 50, 50 odd sh rallies we've had. Clearly a talented lad, but uh, needs to make his mind up if he wants to go for it or not. 16. One of his better serves as well. Mm. Maybe this is a turning point. Nice footwork, good court coverage from the bar. Yeah, he was very quick going across there. I think the fizz has certainly gone out of it now. You know, it's. I think the French know they're going to win and I think the English know the French are going to win. That's better from Langley. She's a fighter, she'll keep going. Service over, 14, 17. See, Be Ben's still thinking about the, those calls. He's pointing over here because of that call there, and that's you're not focused when you're doing that stuff. Exactly. That's you looking for reasons to fail. See from the replay. 17. Now, just off our screen mm -hmm. on the shot. Oh. Onto the girl's forehand again. So it's going to take a huge effort now from the English to get this back. Ben in total control there played the wrong shot and the first shot he hit down. Lost control of the rally. Lost the rally. Misjudgment from Rona. Yep. That shows a, a little bit of nerves there from the French. Mm. Change of shuttle. Really, it's do or die time now, Dan, for the English, I think. Important. That Stowski gets a run of points in the serve, and there's one. 17 yep. 19. Back to it in two if they can win this one. There will be certainly be nerves on the French side of the net. Yep. That's 18, two 19. bad errors from the French. So here we are. They're clearly getting up tight as they get close to winning. But this is the positive side to Stowski's uh, character. He's so laid oh. back that he 
this type of thing is relaxed. Yeah, he doesn't feel the pressure. Match point yeah, and I, I, don't, I don't know why Alex Langley snatched at that. She just to tap that over the net. So it's match that point. Wasn't a power smash. Match point to the French. A Still poor alive. Server. Still alive. 19, Big serve coming up. Big serve. Can she deliver? Oh! Oh! oh I'll be surprised if he's okay after that fall. That Thank certainly you. must have hurt. Mm -hmm. But the net result is the English have somehow clawed their way back and tied it up at 20 all. But certainly. I think Ronan Labar, the experienced guy that he is, will just. Yeah. He we'll came in there, his, his legs went like the wishbone of a chicken. <laughs> but he'll probably take this opportunity just to break that momentum of the English, milk this for everything he can. Mm. But certainly hurt. Wow. It wouldn't surprise me if he, when he came back on court we had a mixed doubles pair playing a ladies doubles <laughs> pair. You can see from the replay, certainly did the splits. Now they're in it. Now they've got a chance. If they can get this set... Because Ben knows he's got the talent, but... He's got to get up for it and be on to the third shot here very quickly if he can. 20 all. Okay, please. Oh, that was lucky there. He was late on 20. to that and the French boy should have been on to it quick. It's game point for the English no oh, aggressive return of serve only one thing in his mind that time Dan yep push it back down the middle all big points from here on in now you need confidence I feel they're lucky he got away with that. They're playing up the girl's forehand again there. <coughs> oh. LaFell did well to dig that out. Good concentration at the net. serve of the French girl is certainly suspect. I can see why it's called a lot. Yeah, good variation from the Frenchman, Labar, mixing it up a bit, taking the pace off it with the drop, setting himself up. It's match point again for the French. Flick again. Yeah, this time they do it. Game. Second time of asking. It's Labar and Lafell who take the game. Made hard work of it in the end, Dan, of course. Had a pretty comfortable lead at one point, leading 16-10. But, but certainly uh, Ben Stowski in and out of the match. And it was a difference in the end. Absolutely. And the number of cross courts he played to invite the hit onto his own uh, partner. Uh, I can't understand it, but obviously if he's not full time and these other players that he's competing against are in a full time structure, then it is difficult. And you don't have the same confidence in your shots. That they don't have the same consistent quality that you would have had had you been in full time training. So it's very difficult for him. So as all four players leave court, it's the French who advance to the next round, our next match on court. Men's singles, winner the Norwegian international just this last week, Kasper Lehekinen of Finland against Dmitry Zavadsky of the Ukraine. Dan, thank you for joining me. I'll talk to you again, no doubt. You'll be here for plenty more commentary during the week. And uh, 
safe trip up to Perth, I think, is it, to do some coaching? Yes, thanks very much, yeah. Mark. I've enjoyed it this morning. And uh, we'll be back shortly with the men's singles, Lehekin in Finland against Zavadsky of the Ukraine.